Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about NNDM stock and Nano Dimension as a company which just released their 2021 first quarter financial report along with a letter from their CEO, and spoiler alert, we have some great news. We will also discuss how a leading academic institution in Quebec, Canada has purchased Nano Dimension's 3D printing Dragonfly LDM system for research purposes. Then lastly, we will discuss Nano Dimension's plan for future acquisition targets in the US and Europe. Up. Go and like this video right now for more stock news updates and analysis. Comment your thoughts down below on NNDM stock. Turn on subscription notifications if you are new and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. Nano Dimension, which is an industry-leading 3D printer of electronic devices has released their first quarter financial results and their revenues came in at $811,000. They have around $1.5 billion of cash, bank deposits, and cash equivalents. However, their net loss for the quarter was over $9.3 million, which is definitely not good. Even though their net loss was rather high, Nano Dimension's CEO comforted NNDM stock investors by commenting this, and I quote, our business plan is proceeding on schedule, but uniquely to Nano Dimension, as I have explained to our supportive investors and shareholders while we have raised the capital to comprehend Nano Dimension's short-term advancements. One should look at our quarterly performance through a magnifying glass that can trifurcate our reported results among three orthogonal axes of intense yet temporarily perpendicular activities and developments. Out of these three axes, the first axis focuses on Nano Dimension increasing marketing and sales of their Dragonfly LDM systems. The second axis is for NNDM to expand product development, which was a reason for their large amount of expenses and net loss, which came from accelerating research and development efforts to advance new and improved 3D printing materials. The third axis is to combine the technology of their two newly acquired companies into a single product while opening the door for more acquisition opportunities, which will lead to an increase in cash flow long term. If you didn't already know, Nano Dimension acquired acquired DeepCube, which is a machine learning technology company that will make Nano Dimensions products and technology self-learning and self-correcting. Another company that NNDM acquired was Nano Fabrica, which is a micro 3D printing technology company that will help Nano Dimension land more customers in the industries that I really care about, which are electric automobiles, defense, aerospace, aviation, and advanced medical equipment. Nano Dimension will now have to focus on integrating the technology technologies of these companies with one another to make high-end smart 3D printers that can produce small and highly efficient electronic devices. NNDM stock could see some positive price action or even get a better price prediction because Nano Dimension is looking to acquire privately held European and American companies in which NNDM is currently negotiating with. After Nano Dimension completes an in-depth investigation of these companies, the hope is that these new acquisitions will put NNDM stock back on top because they will be leagues ahead of any potential competition. Nano Dimension's financial report was better than anticipated just because of how badly they were originally impacted by COVID. Nano Dimension CEO continues on saying that it is important to note that academic institutions are moving more quickly than private enterprise in overcoming COVID-related restrictions in making large purchases of capital equipment. In fact, we just announced the sale of a Dragonfly LDM to the University of Quebec in Canada. We are also very focused on building our sales and marketing organizations in the US, Europe, and Asia so that we are prepared to ramp our sales efforts as pandemic-related restrictions are lifted. Our sales and marketing efforts are expressed in our P&L statements under the line sales and marketing expenses, which have more than tripled over the same period last year. The CEO then summarizes his thoughts by 
saying this, and I quote, Within a reasonable amount of time, all three axes are going to lose their orthogonality and slowly merge into one direction. Product activity, M&A, and go-to-market thrusts being built now to deliver future synergy and complementarity are planned to gradually merge, level off of each other, and fuel mutually accelerated growth. The companies we have acquired and plan to procure are analyzed based on their ability to amalgamate with the marketing channels of the products we develop and the market presence we build now for our early product lines. All three axes of activity will continue, but in parallel overlapping routes rather than perpendicularly, integrated into a clear direction and mutual goals. Keep in mind that Nano Dimension currently has the only technology in the world that uses digital files to 3D print using dielectric and conductive materials to create high-performance electronic devices. Not to mention that these devices are small, complex, and multi-layered, which increases their effectiveness and efficiencies. This is one of the reasons why the University of Quebec in Canada bought Nano Dimension System. A professor even commented on NNDM's technology by saying this, We are excited to provide our students, researchers, and faculty the opportunity to learn firsthand how Nano Dimension's technology is changing the way entire industries think, innovate, develop, and manufacture HiPEDs. Part of our mission is to foster a paradigm shift toward revolutionary practices in the manufacturing sector. One way to achieve that is to give our students, personnel, and corporate partners access to the most advanced and breakthrough technologies in the world and to allow the highly qualified personnel in technical and scientific fields to explore uncharted territories with those technologies. With New Horizons, the Dragonfly LDM system exemplifies such a breakthrough technology and helps fulfill that mission. These are great compliments that Nano Dimension is receiving from this university, so Nano Dimension's VP of Sales for North America said this in response. The University of Quebec in Trois Rivieras recognizes that 3D additive manufacturing of electronics is a disruptive technology in the field of 3D printed electronics. We are facing a growing understanding and acceptance of our technology among academic institutions as well as with early adoption by leading industrial corporations. The quote goes on to say, once adoption follows the lead of early adopters, 3D printing will fundamentally change the way enterprises manufacture their products. Nano Dimension is currently changing a multitude of industries right now with their AME technology through on-site prototyping which hopefully will evolve into mass manufacturing. It allows users to create higher-end products that are more effective and efficient. It can develop products in hours rather than weeks. It can make more complex devices with ease than regular manufacturing means. And this technology protects a company's secret intellectual property. This is good news for Nano Dimension, but it's not good enough news to stop their downtrending and NNDM stock price, so do not anticipate for Nano Dimension stock to randomly change directions until they increase their revenues to well over their net loss. But this financial report means that Nano Dimension's plan is working because their revenue grew by 15.5% year over year, their gross margin increased by 32.2%, and they have $1.5 billion to spend on acquisitions or to pay off any debt that they may acquire. This cash can also keep the stock price up to a degree, and it can have the company burn cash until they eventually achieve profitability, which is projected to be in the next few years. Remember to like this video right now, don't forget to comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and I I will see all of you in the next YT video.